When it comes to engineering, we also wanted to tell the story of future innovations. And one in particular, which I've always found really exciting, is this concept called Hyperloop. It's going to be like a big train. It's going to be on magnetics, and it's going to transport people almost at 700 miles an hour from LA to Vegas and back and forth, and also to hopefully San Francisco. Hyperloop is trying to design this facility so that it's better than a high-speed rail, so that it's better than anything ever designed to move people or freight. We knew immediately that we wanted to showcase it even though it's not completed. So they're out in North Las Vegas. Uh, they've built a test track out there and, and uh, it's quite a setup. Hyperloop testing facility here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we've got our camera mounted to the top of the sled right now. An IMAX camera to get a shot, a point of view shot as the sled's going down the track. People there at Hyperloop were just going, mm, that's a big camera, I don't know if we'll be able to do this. And we were able to mount the camera properly, safety it again, and you know, go through our double checks, triple checks, and ultimately they say, okay, you got the okay. Everybody stand by, 30 second warning. And uh, we're able to get some, some really cool shots. That was nice, that angle, I think that angle looks so cool. Everything ran well, and so then we're setting up for our last setup. The wind started coming up. Just before we're ready to go, I get a call on the radio from the assistant at the other camera, and he says, the camera just fell over. So here, record me. Yeah. So it happened, we had this camera set up. There was another crew here. They put their camera next to ours. A dust devil came through, knocked their camera onto our cable and then caused our camera to fall. My heart just sank. I mean, you know, we had just spent so much time building mounts for the sled, getting all the mounts secured on these sleds. And there the film is, exposed to the light. This shot's no good, it's ruined. But what we decided to do is to go ahead and close it up, secure it, take it back to the truck, download the magazine, and have the film sent to the lab anyway. Two days later, we get a report that then actually the shot is probably going to be okay. And this speaks to the incredible nature of film, the, the shot was still usable. We were all amazed. We were really happy that, that that footage had all been saved. For a second there we thought we lost a really important shot, but in the end it ended up being okay. And the footage of Hyperloop going fast across the desert is going to be spectacular on the giant screen.